All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of two minus x to the power of three is equal to 80. So to solve this equation, I'm gonna first start by subtracting 80 on both sides. So now I get x to the power of two minus x to the power of three minus 80 is equal to zero. Now from here, I'm gonna replace 80 negative 80, I should say, with negative 16 minus 64. Now, I'm going to rewrite this as, I'm going to first rewrite negative 16 as negative 4 squared, and negative 64 as negative 4 to the power of 3. And I'm going to group x squared with negative 4 squared, and x to the power of 3 with negative 4 to the power of 3. So now there's two properties that I'm going to use. And before that, I'm going to write this as x squared minus 4 squared, and I'm going to group this minus x to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3. We put this plus because this negative sign distributes. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which is this, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So for x squared minus 4 squared, it's going to turn into x plus 4 times x minus 4. I have this minus a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, or in this case, x to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3 is going to turn into x plus 4 times x squared minus 4x plus 16. Now, because both of these terms have x plus 4 in them, I can factor out x plus 4. So I get x plus 4 times x minus 4 minus x squared minus 4x plus 16 is equal to zero. Now from here, this is equal to x plus four times x minus four minus x squared plus four x minus 16. I just distribute the negative sign is equal to zero. And let's simplify this even more. Okay, x plus four times negative x squared plus 5x minus 20 is equal to 0. So I get two equations from this. I get x plus 4 equals 0, and negative x squared plus 5x minus 20 is equal to 0. So first, for x plus 4 equals 0, all we have to do is subtract 4 on both sides, and we get x is equal to negative 4. Now, for negative x squared plus 5x minus 20 equals 0, well, first off, we have a negative sign in front of x squared, so I'm actually going to get rid of that by multiplying both sides by negative 1. So I get x squared minus 5x plus 20 is equal to 0. And now, to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 5, and c is 20. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 5 squared, which is 25, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 20, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 80 over 2, which is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 55 over 2. Now, this is equal to the square root of 55 times the square root of negative 1 over 2. And the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. So I get 5 plus or minus the square root of 55i over 2. So this is two more solutions to this equation. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends and family.
All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of 8 is equal to 25 squared. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite this as x to the power of 4 times 2 is equal to 25 squared. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 4 times 2 is equal to x to the power of 4 to the power of 2. And this is equal to 25 squared. Now I'm going to subtract 25 squared on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get x to the power of 4 to the power of 2 minus 25 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. And before we actually do this, I'm actually going to take the square root on both sides so I can cancel these twos out. So I get x to the power of 4 minus 25 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite this as x squared to the power of 2 minus 5 squared is equal to 0. So now I can use the formula a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b on this. So this turns into x squared plus 5 times x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So I get two equations, x squared plus 5 equals 0 and x squared minus 5 equals 0. So for x squared minus 5 equals 0, I get x squared equals 5. If I take the square root on both sides, I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of 5. Now for x squared plus 5 equals 0, I can subtract 5 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to negative 5. If I take the square root, I get x is equal to the square root of negative 5, which is equal to the square root of 5i. So these are my four solutions to this equation.